What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news from yesterday as well as Monday and once again you guys really killed it on liking the previous news video and like always I greatly appreciate it. That always goes a long way and if you got a second once again I'd appreciate a thumbs up. So we have a lot of stuff to talk about. We have a lot from Jordan brand. We have DJ Khaled's Air Jordan 3. There's an OVO Air Jordan 8 releasing later this year. We have some Air Jordan 9 releases for 2018 and more. Nike's loaded with stuff. We have the Nike Kobe AD Purple Stardust. We have a Nike SF Air Force One Mid. We have a new Nike Air Max 2 CB94 Low. And from Adidas, we have the store listings for the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra, a look at the Adidas NMD R1 Prime Knit, and Triple White, a part of the Japan pack. But without wasting too much of your time, let's jump into the news. Starting things off, we have a detailed look at the Adidas NMD R1 Prime Knit Triple White, which is a part of the Adidas NMD Japan pack. In the past, the Japan pack has been somewhat limited and has sold out, so I expect the same to happen here. And as you can see, pretty much all white. However, there's Japanese characters on one of the EVA pod overlays as well as down the hill. No set release date gonna drop during August and retail price will be 170. We have a detailed look at two Adidas Crazy Explosive 2017 Prime Net releases. The two have released overseas, I believe. I know for sure the white and black pair has, and that took place on June 6th. The second pair, which features gray and yellow, I'm not 100% positive they released overseas, and at this time, there isn't a set stateside release. I am a fan of the Crazy Explosive. I do know that the first release was supposed to be for John Wall, but with his departure from Adidas and pretty much he's unsigned right now, they decided to give Andrew Wiggins kind of the spotlight on this pair. Retail price is expected to be 170 That's a bit high. Um, I'm not sure how much the original Crazy Explosive went for, but once we have a release date, I will make sure to let you know. But if you don't want to wait, there is sizes available on eBay. There will be a link in the description below. The Adidas Harden Volume 1 is taking the Ultra Boost route, and here we have the Adidas Harden Volume 1 Uncaged. The pair shown features Boost as well as Prime Knit with a mixture of white and light gray. But the main difference here is that the Three Stripes brand removed the overlay on the toe box and the TPU. They're expected to drop sometime in July. We don't have a release date as of yet. I do like the Harden Volume 1, but I would rather have a cage on it. Two things happened important yesterday from the Three Stripes brand and fans of the Yeezy. Adidas confirmed that the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra is restocking on June 24th. They also unveiled a bunch of store listings. Now this doesn't include every store getting them. This doesn't include mom and pop shops or boutiques and things like that. But if I tried to put all the locations in the description, it won't work. It's just too long and YouTube won't let me save it. Also, if I put it in the video itself, not only would it take me two hours to do that, but this video would probably be over 20 minutes long and that's just way too long for you guys because there's a lot of info in this video. But if you do want to check out the listings and it's all over the globe, there is a link in the description below which will point you to sneakerfiles.com where you can check them all out. On to Nike and we have some on feet images of the Nike SF Air Force One Mid known as Mushroom. Now I don't like the mushroom nickname, I don't even like mushrooms, but this pair features more of a beige or even like a brownish hue across the uppers, which is constructed of tumbled leather as well as ballistic nylon. Dual zippers land on the hill as well as a removable ankle strap and we have white across the midsole, well it's actually light bone, across the midsole and outsole. No release date, dropping summer 2017, and the retail price is set at 170. Nike Sportswear continues to release models in a triple white theme, and next up for summer 2017 is the Nike Air Max 2 CB94. So, as you guys already know, this pair is linked to Charles Barkley and comes in a low top build. Featuring all white, there's just a little bit of black and that lands on the branding located on the insole. No release date or retail price, however, they are dropping this summer. For some models, I do like the triple white theme and this pair, I, I kinda like it. It's decent. I feel bad for anybody that dropped over $1,000 on the Tom Sash Nike Mars Yard 2.0 release because they are releasing once again globally. So I don't know the availability. This still might be a limited release, but they're going to be available once again on July 7th for 200 To be honest with you guys, I'm not feeling these shoes whatsoever. I can't appreciate the designer's process and what he put into the shoe. I just can't see myself buying them for 200 let alone over a grand. That's just... I don't know. P 
Pigal and Nike Lab are collaborating on the Nike Air Shake Indestruct. The shoes feature a loyal blue, silver, game royal, and white color theme. Wolven is used across the uppers, which has a mixture of white and black. Blue is seen across the toe as well as running across the panels into the heel, while the same shade lands on the Nike swoosh. Replacing the worm branding on the heel, we now have Pigel and Nike branding. A white midsole and a translucent outsole completes the look. They're also collaborating on a few pairs of slides, and I'll include that in this video here. However, I'm just going to do one image of each because I feel like the Airshake Indestruct should be the main focus here. So as for the release details, dropping June 19th overseas and it isn't known if a stateside release will take place, but retail price will be 200 I have never been a fan of the Nike Kobe AD, but there's something about this colorway that really draws me to them. But looking closer, they feature purple stardust and that covers the uppers and there's also a bit of suede that wraps the collar and heel. Black winds up on the outsole as well as speckled detailing on the midsole, hits the Nike swoosh and Kobe branding. Completing this pair is a little bit of yellow which lands on the Kobe branding located on the insole. As for a release date, they're dropping July 1st and the retail price is 160 in my opinion, this is the best Kobe AD to release. I'm not sure why I like them so much. I, It's probably the purple. I just like that shade. My favorite part of the new segment and probably yours as well, and that is Jordan brand. And first up, we have a first look at an Air Jordan 9 releasing during the early part of 2018. So it's just a preview, but as you can see, it features white tumbled leather. We have black detailing on the panels and a little bit of metallic gold. Now, I obviously can't give my opinion on the shoe because we just have this preview image, but they are expected to drop during January of 2018 and retail price will be 190. Another Air Jordan 9 leaked on Monday and this pair is inspired by baseball gloves. So it's no secret that the Air Jordan 9 is tied into baseball. Michael Jordan left the NBA and started playing for the Barons which is a double A minor league team connected with the Chicago White Sox. They feature a clean black and white theme which matches with the Barons uniform. However, it features woven across the panels as well as the heel that mimics that of baseball gloves. Also the laces used has that raw finish which is also seen on baseball gloves and 45 on the back hill. We don't have a release date, however, I've heard 2018, but it could be earlier than that. I'm not 100% sure. Now, I applaud Jordan Brand for going outside of the box and trying something new. However, being a fan of baseball and a fan of the Air Jordan 9, this is a definite pass for me. Nick Cannon was in the recent Sneaker Closet series with Complex and he showed off his Air Jordan 7 Wilden Out PE. They feature a mixture of black metallic gold and light graphite. And as you can see, graphite lands on the base while black is used on the overlays. And then we have metallic gold and red which lands on the midsole, heel, tongue, while gold lands on the Jumpman branding. Finishing this pair is a translucent outsole which displays the Wild and Out logo. I think this pair actually looks dope. I'm not a fan of the show Wild and Out, so for me, if they did drop, I would rather not feature the Wild and Out logo. No offense, it's just, yeah, I think it just looks clean without it. But Nick Cannon also goes on to say that there's an upcoming Air Jordan 11 Wild and Out in the works but there's no additional information at this time. More than likely the Air Jordan 7 shown will not release, but leave a comment below and let me know if you would pick them up if they dropped. Possibly Jordan Brand is releasing the Air Jordan 17 low being called Alternate Lightning. Back in 2002, Jordan Brand released the Air Jordan 17 Low Lightning, and for many, that colorway is the best Air Jordan 17 release. Jordan actually wore the shoes, the Lightning that is, back during the All-Star game, but we only have a preview image of the Alternate Lightning, which honestly looks super dope to me. From this preview, you can see it features yellow across the uppers, and that is constructed of tumble leather. There also appears to be a little bit of black nubuck up top, and we have chrome on the eyelets as well as the midsole, while black is also used on the midsole. We don't know if these are going to release, but I really hope they do. For those that have been waiting to grab the Just Dawn Air Jordan 2 Arctic Orange collaboration in mint sizing, we do have a release date. They're gonna drop this Friday, June 16th, and retail price is 500 a bit higher than the 350 that was available for GS. Now, the only place I know you can grab them at is RSVP Gallery located in Chicago. When and if I find additional retailers, I'll make sure to drop that in the following news video. Drake and Jordan Brand are gonna collaborate once again, and they're actually going to release the OVO Air Jordan 8 later this year. Now put this under the rumor column for now. However, this information, where it came from, who goes by Poe on Twitter, he always drops legit information. Everything he posts, 
is very accurate and he comes through so although it is a rumor i would say it's more factual rather than not but here's the thing we don't know which eight it could be it could be one or both of the kentucky air jordan 8 known as the calipari pack drake did say some time back that they're going to release but who knows it also could be either the white or black pair with metallic gold accents that Drake wore during the 2015 OVO Fest. We'll have to wait for the actual release and information and that will probably come soon. I'm hoping sooner rather than later, but leave a comment below. Let me know which one of the pairs shown, which is a total of four, would you like to see release? DJ Khaled has been seen with Jordan brand representatives and a lot of people thought that a collaboration would release and now somewhat we do have a somewhat of a release and this is the dj khaled air jordan 3 grateful and what i mean by somewhat is that they're not actually going to release but there is a chance to win this shoe which i'll let you know about in a bit but they feature leather across the uppers which looks tumbled and pretty much a predominant red takeover and i'm not gonna lie these look really really nice we also have white accents elephant print wraps the toe and heel and then we have accents of black which lands on the eyelids as well as part of the midsole now getting into the smaller details on the heel we have the jumpman branding along with we the best and on the inside of the heel tab it reads hashtag grateful we the best and still in the meeting. It is possible that they could release later this year. But in order to win this pair, here is the details. You'll need to pre-order DJ Khaled's upcoming album, Grateful, which debuts on June 23rd. I'll also have a link in the description below if you want to pre-order and get yourself locked in on the giveaway. I actually really do hope these release. Um, it could be with the branding or without. Either way, I would be 100% happy with this. And that recaps the news, like always we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. There was a lot of stuff in this video, but to me what really stuck out would be the Nike Kobe AD Purple Stardust. Like I said, there's just something about the shoe, I mean, it is probably the purple, but damn, those are really, really nice. The Air Jordan 17 Low Alternate Lightning, I don't even need to see a full preview of the shoe to say I'm in on those. Um, it just looks dope. I like that bright shade of yellow used. I'm interested to see which OVO Air Jordan 8 releases. I'm kind of hoping that the black and gold will. And if that happens, then we'll probably see a white and gold release later down the road. Last but not least is DJ Khaled's Air Jordan 3. I think he did a good job on that pair. I really like that shade of red. It pops. It's very vibrant. But leave a comment below and let me know from this video what you liked or what you disliked. Thanks for watching, stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.